How Expert! Top 10 Fun Facts About Venus Flytraps How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more How Expert Top 10 videos in the future. Moving on, let's talk about the How Expert Top 10 Fun Facts About Venus Flytraps. Number 10. They are carnivorous plants. The Venus flytrap is known to be a carnivorous plant, meaning that it doesn't take all of its energy from the sun's rays and the soil of the ground that it grows in. Due to the acidic nature of its soil, it requires the energy consumed from living beings, such as flies, slugs, ants, and even small frogs. They release a chemical enzyme that is made to break down the proteins and absorb the nutrition from the creatures. This process doesn't normally take very long, but once a mouth is done feeding, it won't open again for another 11 to 14 days, meaning that they don't feed often. This is how the plant stays alive, using the mouths on its body to trap small prey to break down and eat. Number 9. They aren't as rare as you think. Many people think that due to the humid climate these creatures grow in, that they're supposedly very rare and hard to find. Many also believe that they're only capable of finding them in the Amazon rainforest or other tropical paradises for plants. They aren't nearly that rare, however, and can be found to originate in North and South Carolina, in the muggy bogs and swamps. These plants grow in large clusters, and can also be spread and regrown from the fallen leaves and mouths of the trap. You can also order seeds and plants online or at your local store, such as Walmart, Lowe's, or Big Lots. They aren't nearly as hard to find as you would think. Number 8. The mouths are amazing traps. These plants attract insects and small animals to their mouths by secreting a sweet scent. The hairs on the mouth are used to trigger the trap once the animals touch them. Paired with that, this smell is highly desirable to all animals and they can't help but be seduced by it until finally, they land on one of the sticky traps of the plant's mouth. These mouths are very adhesive and once the animals land on them, they're normally stuck until the mouth begins to close. Once they fully shut, these plants create an airtight space inside that is great for keeping the animals trapped inside while the enzyme digestion occurs. Number 7. Humidity is their best friend. Keep in mind that these plants don't grow to very extravagant lengths or sizes. They aren't the gigantic human-sized plants that you'll see in pop culture or in movies. Most plants can only grow up to 5 inches in diameter, and that doesn't actually count how large the mouths grow. However, if grown in humid climates, these plants will thrive and grow to maximum capacity in a span of a few years. They especially love growing in mixtures of sand and peat moss, that way the water retention for the plant remains at a comfortable level. Number 6. These plants are actually famous. Charles Darwin had a very high fascination in these plants, and even dedicated an entire book of carnivorous plants based on Venus flytraps. He went on even further to say how they were the best plants in the entire planet. The third United States president, Thomas Jefferson, also gave it a shot at raising Venus flytraps. Although he had no luck, he still managed to find and collect all the seeds. Number 5. They don't actually eat a lot of flies. It's very true. They may be named after the flying buzzing insects. Instead, most of their nutrition actually comes from ants. They also digest a lot of snails, slugs, and small animals such as frogs. Only about 5% of the plant's ingestion is based on flies. Number 4. Their name is rather unique. Although they don't eat a lot of flies, they're still named after them, which many people find interesting. However, the Venus part of the plant is also very unique. They're named after the pagan goddess of love, Venus, who is known to seduce men with her beauty and charms. This is the same sense as the plants, who use their calm appearance and special sense to lure in prey before chomping down for their next meal. Number 3. The plants can reproduce asexually. 
Just like many other plants, the Venus flytrap has a very versatile reproduction cycle. They can procreate using both sexual and asexual means. When asexual reproduction takes place, once the plant gets pollinated by insects, the plant will extend into the ground through the seeds and begin a stalk. After a flower blooms on the stalk, the scent will keep the insects away until the mouths start to bloom and appear on the plant. This is actually much more common a method that Venus flytraps use to procreate when compared to sexual. Number two, the traps don't last long. These plants may have a high protein diet, but they still don't have a long lifespan. Each plant usually takes up to five years to grow and are quite easy to kill. In fact, if you feed these plants anything other than strictly insects, the mouths will turn black, shrivel up, and die, killing the plant quite fast. Otherwise, in a normal life cycle, each mouth can open and close about six times before shutting entirely. Once all of the mouths on the plant die off, they can't provide any more substance for the main body, and the Venus flytrap will then die. Number 1. The bug doesn't completely disappear. These plants don't completely consume the entire body of the prey they consume, unlike what sci-fi movies like to show us. Instead, they use their enzymes to absorb all of the minerals and vitamins they require from the creature. Once the animal is nothing more than a lifeless husk, they open the mouths, and the husks are normally left sitting there until the wind can blow them away. It's never a process that absorbs the entire bug. Even if a soft creature, such as a slug, landed on the plant, there would still be a small husk left behind. If you liked our video, be sure to click like and subscribe for more How Expert Top 10 videos on all topics from A to Z in the future. Also, let us know what other topics you want us to do a How Expert Top 10 video in the future in the comments below. Thank you, have an amazing day, and take care. How Expert publishes quick how-to guides on all topics from A to Z by everyday experts. Visit howexpert.com to learn more.